What is religion? When, where, and how did it come about? Why does it work? Who is actually in charge? Defined honestly, religion is a personal set or institutionalized system of beliefs, attitudes, and practices designed to benefit and propose the superiority of the select group of people that practice those beliefs while ostracizing those who don't. A long time ago, there were certain men scattered all across the globe that were convinced of the superiority of themselves and their way of life. They were so obsessed that they went insane and heard voices and saw visions about their awesomeness. To get others to agree with them, they threw big parties, told other people their ideas, convinced the others their ideas were awesome and that they should be given gifts, money, and special privileges. These ideas were written down, translated who knows how many different times, and read at other get-togethers by believers in the Almighty's will, who also collected gifts and money for the sake of the Almighty. Sure, other people were invited to these gatherings, as long as they agreed with the ideas from the book and worshipped the Almighty by giving their money and time to help spread the word. The believers would even have special congregations where they would make fun of, beat up, or even kill those who didn't believe, or even those who believed in a different book and worshipped a different almighty. Boy, religion sounds great if you're part of one. Not so much if you're not. The desire to feel like you're better than someone else is a very primal urge, as is the com camaraderie of belonging to a group of people with similar interests. It's those two reasons that religion has succeeded and will continue to succeed despite all its negative aspects. Even willingly restrained by the shackles of religion, the subconscious urge of man to be independent still has influence. If someone tells you the way they think something should be done, whether you're consciously aware of it or not, you will use what you know to try to improve upon that concept. So wouldn't it stand that if the will of the Almighty doesn't match someone's personal outlook, they could distort it to fit them better, especially if they were in a position of power and service to that Almighty? Then what if that someone took it a step further and wrote their beliefs down as the will of the Almighty? True story, bro. If you don't believe this has happened to every religious text, you must be one of those blind faith sheeple who has been convinced that thinking for yourself is evil, and I feel sorry for you. Not only have you given up control of your own life, but you've given it over to the ideals of our charlatan ancestors, whose goals were to exert their dominance over the weak in order to feel superior and turn a profit. It's a damn shame.